Okay, well, welcome class. I know this is going to be new to you guys. Um, right now, my algebra students are doing it. My transitional students are doing it, and they absolutely love it. So I think you guys will too. A really, really nice part about this is you can watch these videos anytime you want. So if you miss class, you can watch them. If you're doing the homework and you're not sure how to do it, you can watch them. Um, if you're in tutoring or you are just someplace else, maybe your parents are helping you or somebody else is helping you, you can watch the videos and get some insight how to do the classwork. So let's start with question number one. Examine the triangles at the right. Make a flow chart showing that these triangles are similar. And at any point in the videos while you're in class, go ahead and raise your hand um, and I'll be more than happy to come around and help you or explain something as well. So in order to prove that these are similar, remember the three different ways we prove stuff is similar. Either side, 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 meaning that all the side ratios have to be equal. Angle, angle, meaning we've got two sets of congruent angles or side, angle, side, which is a little bit of the combination of the two. Right, so for this problem, I can see we know absolutely nothing about the angles. Uh, I could use law of cosine to help me out with that, but I don't need to in this one. So I can just use side, side, side. Um, so I know the reason for my conclusion is going to be side, side, side similarity. So let's start with the sides that are similar. All right, so I started and I highlighted BC and ED to show that they are both 0.5 and those must be a pair of corresponding sides. So then what I'm gonna write in the bubble is 4.5 over 4.5 and put that as equal to one. I'm gonna do the next pair of sides. The next pair of sides I highlighted in yellow um, I know they must be corresponding sides. And once again, I'm going to put them in the bubble. So 6 over 6 equals 1. And then we have to do the last one. I'll highlight this in blue and write that answer in the bubble as well. So 7.5, remember big over small, 7.5 divided by 7.5 is going to equal 1. Uh, what are my reasons for all this? Well, we're given all the side lengths, correct? So then we're given, it's just going to be my reason for all of these. Perfect. And then our last thing is we have to say that they're similar. So I'm just going to say triangle ABC is similar, and we've got to match up corresponding sides. So when I say ABC, I'm talking about doing yellow, orange, blue. So we've got to match up that same thing and do yellow, orange, blue. So yellow, orange, blue. Blue. So this must be triangle F, D, E. It's super, super, super important that you match up corresponding sides. So if you were to name that triangle, that second triangle, any other way, it would not be correct. So you can't say F, E, D, or D, E, F, because if you say D, E, F, that's going to be orange, blue, yellow. But we want to make sure that we do yellow, orange, blue to make sure we match up the corresponding sides. All right, question B, are these triangles also congruent? Explain how you know. So hopefully you, you would say yes to this one. And if you remember, when the ratios are equal to one, the triangles are congruent. So when the slope ratio is equal to one, the shapes are congruent. Um, obviously they have the same exact sides. It's 4.5, 6, 7.5. So those slope ratios are one, the shapes are going to be congruent. So while the symbol for similar figures is the tilde, or the squiggle, as I usually call it, the symbol for congruent figures is the equal sign with the squiggle on top of it. How is the congruent symbol related to the similarity symbol? Why do you think mathemat mathematicians chose the symbol for congruence? So if you think about it, mathematicians really combined the equal sign with the similarity sign. So to be congruent means you're both equal and you're similar, hence congruent. And last part of this problem, Luis wanted to write a statement to convey that these two triangles are congruent. He started with triangle CAB. So that would be in our problem, triangle CAB would be blue, yellow, orange, but then got stuck because he did not know the symbol for congruence. Now that you know the symbol for congruence, complete Luis's statement for him. So we're going to 
have triangle CAB, then write the congruent sign, is congruent to triangle, remember, match up the corresponding sides. So CAB is blue, yellow, orange. So then in triangle DEF, how would we say it? So that we say blue, yellow, orange. And we would say it by saying EFD. So EFD, so blue, yellow, orange. All right, nice job on this one. Go ahead and go to question two on in the, your next video.